Hi, this is Shadi Sreem. I'm making this video for the Nano Degree Mentorship Program. Uh, today I'm going to discuss uh, a little uh, information about uh, Android uh, MVVM and uh, Mobile Component Architect. Uh, I believe, uh, or I'm not sure, should I continue in Arabic or English? So I will just go with English. Um, my name, as I said, is Shadi Slim. I am uh, a native uh, native team lead in, uh, in mobile programming, either iOS or Android. I have experience more than one year mentorship in Odessa program here in Cairo, Egypt, in the TIC NTL scholarship with the partnership of the UNDP. I am also a uh, certified tester for the Kotlin uh, content. And uh, for uh, and uh, for other um, other uh, DST, uh, content, this is since 2017. Let's uh, uh, start with today's presentation. We're going, as I said, to talk about Android Architect component. Last year, in May 2018, uh, Google announced in its Google I/O summit about Android Jetpack. Android Jetpack, as we can see, it has different uh, parts. It has foundation libraries, it has behavior libraries, architect libraries, and UI libraries. Uh, in, uh, our, uh, uh, in our slides, we are going to talk uh, in specific about the architect libraries, uh, especially the MVVM and the LIDAT. And to assure all uh, those who are going to start using the, uh, the Jetpack, I assure you that 95% of the libraries that we, uh, we are going to discuss is covering about 95% of the devices of, uh, of Android all around the world. So you don't have um, to worry about a backward compatibility or anything. You, have, uh, you are covered by Android Jetpack. Okay, refactor. Uh, in the Jetpack, uh, the support libraries is many, many, many libraries that it can't not feed you. Uh, should I use a design which is version 4 or the constraint with version 7 and what if I want to use a dynamic text or what version sh should I use? So you just uh, uh, fuse all this uh, confusing versions into one which is Android X and this start from scratch. JPEG Architect. JPEG Architect have life cycle, a life cycle of a component and view model, which we are going to discuss in uh, today's slide, and room for the data uh, SQLite uh, uh, mapping and live data, which, which also is going to be discussed in today's presentation. And paging. Uh, actually, paging uh, is new in uh, since 2015, but it's uh, very helpful. I hope you uh, have time to look at that. Uh, just back uh, preview architect, we have uh, work manager navigation, but it's not going to be discussed in today's slide. We're going to, uh, to talk now about view models, why it's useful and why to use it. What is the hardest part of Android development, and I especially if I'm going to for an interview and I've been asked uh, what uh, if my application went uh, to the background. What it uh, should, uh, should call? Should it call on resume or on restart, for example? And I have to learn by heart this mess, which is very hard if, if you are an Android developer, just to manage this, uh, this, uh, to, to learn this, uh, this maps and uh, learn by heart. And you can know that if you uh, went on post, then you will have to go wherever. So they just said, why not to make it easier? Why not, why not to make uh, use view model and you only have a clear and uh, and uh, on start uh, on start behaviors when your view model just start then all the data is there and when it's cleared you can call in on clear and you can just uh, dispatch all the, uh, all uh, the libraries or all what uh, what's working on the background so it's now very very easy it's a clean uh, life cycle that you can work with. But what about live data? Why to use live data with, uh, with view model? Uh, when I start my fragment or my, uh, my activity and I call the view model and connect to it, uh, if 
So I connected uh, with a view with, uh, with a view that with live data. It is uh, it's aware. It's life cycle aware. It can just uh, sense any change that can have uh, that can uh, that can be done in the live data through the observer pattern. If you if you hear the observer pattern or you remember the observer pattern, the observer pattern is like a listener. You can just listen to a, a special uh, type or a special variable, and when it uh, it judges uh, the change, it will notify you with the change without you requesting it. It's more like push more than pull. So um, now my live data is aware of, uh, of its data. Uh, and connected by by observer. So when uh, the data just change uh, change in the background from the web service or from the database, it will be changed on my view uh, without uh, without uh, any interference from me or any extra extra coding. Is this is the only and the most important part of the layer, uh, live data? No, of course not. Uh, if if my uh, application uh, had been rotated, and uh, I, we've seen that a lot, the, uh, the natural thing that happened to the uh, to the view that it's uh, been destroyed and redrawn. By destroying and redrawing your uh, your fragment, your uh, your activity, actually you lose all the data and all the state of this fragment of uh, activity. But what if I want to hold the data? And not uh, not losing it to continue of, uh, on what I've, uh, I've been doing. Actually, the live data uh, come very helpful uh, with the view model in uh, because the view model will hold all my data, and the live data will connect to the data, data to, to my data source, which is either a web service or a database. And when uh, my view is redrawn, uh, I will uh, it will call the live data again and and sense. If, the, if there is already data, then it will bring it to the view. If it's not, it's, uh, it will call it from the web service or the database. And not only this, if my data, if my data have been uh, uh, updated in the background, why my uh, view was destroyed and read uh, wrong, I will uh, collect the new data. I will not uh, get the old data. So my data will always be fresh, and it will always be there. Uh, there are other uh, libraries and other things which is new in Android in 2018. I uh, I believe it will be he very helpful to have a look at it or uh, just see uh, one of my sessions in uh, and, uh, what's new in Android in 2018. Okay, thank you.